Hello, then. this is the Caleb Chen again, and uh, we want to continue on with our discussion on geometric mean and see how the, we can easily calculate the geometric mean for the application. Again, the example is what the, in the 1993, when the, I came to Spring Harbor University, the campus population was, student population was about 800 students, and in the year 2014, we have about 1,600 students on campus. So the geometric mean equation says what the, we are going to take the nth root and n being the, the number of years apart from 1993 to 2014, so that's 21 years, and uh, is the ratio, the ending value divided by the, the beginning value. So in this case, you can easily see that what that is 2 and minus 1. So the, how do we take the nth root? It is the same as saying what the we are to take this value, which is 2, and raise it to power 1 over 21. So nth root is the same as raise to power 1 over 21, the reciprocal, minus 1. And uh, if you use a calculator like this one, is a the uh, Texas Instrument Business Analysis Tool Plus, and you can put 21 here and push the button 1 over x, and it's the same as saying is equal to square root of 2 uh, actually with the, I'll take the back, but the, the square root is gone once you the have done the, the uh, raised to power thing and is equal to 2 to the power point zero four seven six minus 1 if you go back to the calculator and again with the 2 raised to power so I have the, the y to the x button and the x is going to be punching 0 0.0476 and I get 1.0335 minus 1 so the answer is about 0 0.0335 or is 3.35 percent well go back to the example we are saying that what the between 1993 to 2000 and 2014 the student population has grown on an average 3.35 percent a year for us to go from 800 to 1600 and uh, even though it looks like what the it has grown 100 percent over something like 20 21 years so the average should be the five percent if you just what the use five percent and the number would be inflated because of the compound concept of the growth rate so I hope that makes sense and it's again called the geometric mean equation